Hey, hey, hey! You made it! It's so good to see you! Welcome to Kiddos Crossing, where Rajiji reads books, affirmations, and mindful meditations. And in this video, we are going to be reading Nyack, Land of Dreams, Prima Ballerina, written by Tia Crosley, illustrated by Ambadi Kumar. Summer, it's time for bed. Summer was busy practicing her routine for the ballet recital auditions. She had been practicing the routine over and over again. What am I going to do? She thought to herself. The auditions are tomorrow and I am not ready. Summer heard her mother call out to her again. Coming, she replied. Summer slowly readied herself for bed. When she was finally in bed, her mother came into her room. Summer, dear, don't be nervous about the auditions tomorrow. You have been practicing really hard. I didn't make it into the recital last year or the year before, Summer replied. You have to believe in yourself, said her mother as she gently kissed Summer's forehead. Get some sleep, dream big, and believe in yourself, said her mother. If you have faith and believe in yourself, anything is possible. Summer fell asleep to her mother's encouraging words. Summer opened her eyes to the sunlight gleaming through her windows. She jumped up, dressed for school, and rushed to the kitchen for breakfast. She was so nervous she could barely eat. It was 7.32 a.m. If she left now, she could meet the other girls before class. Summer grabbed her books and her dance bag and hurried out the door. As she walked down the sidewalk, she was blinded by the sunlight. She didn't pay too much attention to the brightness because she was so concerned about the audition. Summer practiced the routine in her head. It was always the same. She could see herself performing the routine perfectly until the pirouette. Then it all fell apart. Right then, three words popped into Summer's head. Believe in yourself. Those were the words her mom said to her last night. Summer heard a bird chattering up in a tree. As she looked up, she noticed the tree and bird were sparkling. She dropped her books and dance bag. Looking around, Summer realized that everything around her was sparkling. The trees, the grass, the flowers, and even the rocks. Amazing, isn't it? Summer heard the question, but there was no one there. She looked behind the tree. She heard the question again, this time louder and with more excitement. Amazing, isn't it? Summer looked up into the tree. There was a squirrel looking down at her. It was the most beautiful squirrel she had ever laid eyes on. Summer still hadn't answered the question. She was staring at the animal in awe when the squirrel asked, Can you speak? Yes, just shocked that you can too, she replied. The squirrel started to giggle. <laughs> <laughs> we get that all the time, said another voice. Summer looked down at her feet, and there stood the most beautiful rabbit she had ever seen. He was exceptionally fluffy and seemed much bigger than the rabbits that she was used to seeing. Welcome to Nyack, land where everything sparkles and anything is possible, said the rabbit. They call me clever, and this is Ernie, short for Ernest. You can stop looking at us like we are aliens, said Squirrel. I apologize. I have never seen animals as beautiful as you, especially not ones who can speak. How did I get here? Asked Summer. Your question should not be how, but instead, why? Said Rabbit. Everyone comes to Nyack for a reason. So what is your reason, Summer? Summer thought for a few moments. Rabbit and Squirrel were now standing at her feet and they sparkled like everything else around them. Summer looked all around her again. She felt a sense of familiarity in Nyack. She asked, why does everything here seem so familiar? Let's walk and talk, replied Clever. The three started walking along the path. What is the last thing you remember? Asked Clever, leaving for school. I was practicing my dance routine in my head when I realized that everything around me was sparkling. What dance routine? 
asked Ernie. I have an audition today for the spring dance recital. <gasps> oh no, Summer exclaimed. I'm going to be late for the auditions. What time is it? Squirrel started to giggle. <laughs> time doesn't exist in Nyack. What do you mean time doesn't exist? Asked Summer. That's impossible. Anything is possible in Nyack, responded Squirrel and Rabbit simultaneously. Summer, let's talk about your audition. Are you ready for it? Asked Rabbit. Well, I think so, said Summer unconfidently. Summer noticed a twinkle in Rabbit's eye when she responded. This path looks so familiar, Summer stated. This is the same path you walk every day, said Ernie. Why is everything sparkling? Asked Summer. Nyack is a place where dreams come to life. Your doubts and fears turn to belief and confidence. That makes Nyack sparkle, said Clever. Rabbit immediately turned the conversation back to the audition. Why aren't you confident about your dance routine? He asked. Summer explained how she had not made it into the ballet recital the previous two years. She told them that she had been practicing really hard, but she was having problems with her pirouette. Pirouette is the hardest part of the routine, and it is what the judges base the majority of their decision on. Rabbit responded, Perform for Ernie and I. It will help build your confidence before your audition. We can pretend to be the judges, said Squirrel. Well, I guess, said Summer in a soft, doubtful voice. She went into her dance bag and pulled out her ballet slippers. She put them on and began the routine. She was so unfocused, she missed a step and tripped on her own feet. Concentrate, said Rabbit. Summer gained her composure and started over. As soon as she was at the pirouette, she became unbalanced and lost her footing again. Summer, you have to believe in yourself. Remember, anything is possible when you believe in yourself, stated Clever. Picture yourself doing the pirouette perfectly in your head and focus on it, said Ernie. Summer regained her composure and went over the routine in her head before beginning again. This time, she pictured herself performing the pirouette perfectly. Once she pictured herself doing it, she believed in her heart that she could. She started again with more confidence this time. Summer performed the dance piece with grace and skill. Her pirouette was perfect. Once she finished, she yelled, I did it! She did pirouettes again and again. She practiced the routine a few more times before Rabbit interrupted her. Now you are ready. Summer smiled and grabbed her dance bag. Rabbit and Squirrel were no longer there. She heard Rabbit say from the distance, Summer, remember, anything is possible when you believe in yourself. Summer's alarm clock started buzzing. She opened her eyes and realized that she had just had the most beautiful dream. It was all a dream, she thought to herself. Summer began to get ready for school. She was ready in time to sit and enjoy breakfast. She left and met up with Leia and Mariah on the walking path. Hey, Summer, said Leia. How are you feeling this morning? Great, replied Summer. We are very nervous about the audition today, said Mariah. Summer felt surprisingly calm. The girls arrived at school and wished each other luck on the auditions. School went by very slow for Summer. As she looked out the window, she was reminded of Clever and Ernie. Even though it was a dream, the beautiful animals and their encouraging words were still vivid in her mind. Finally, the end of the day bell rang. Summer went to the locker room and changed for the auditions. She saw Leia and Mariah, who both seemed even more nervous than they were before school. Summer walked over to her friends and gave them both hugs and said, Believe in yourself. Summer proceeded to the stage in front of the judges. She imagined that she was standing in the beautiful land of Nyack with Clever and Ernie, where everything sparkled and was beautiful. Then the music began. Summer danced just as she had in Nyack, perfectly. When the music stopped, she bowed and smiled. She was about to walk off stage when one judge stood and clapped. It was Miss Boyer, the strictest and most critical ballet teacher. She said, Summer, that was one of the most graceful pirouettes I have ever seen. Great job. 
Summer exited the audition full of excitement. She wished her friends well again and told them to believe in themselves. Summer walked home anxious for the results that would be posted the next day. When she arrived home, her mother was in the kitchen waiting for her. She hurried to Summer and excitedly asked how the audition went. Summer smiled and said, It went great, Mom! I believed in myself, and I did it! Maybe after dinner you can show me your routine. I would love to, said Summer. The next morning, Summer met up with Leia and Mariah on the walking path. They were all anxious to get to school to see the results. Summer heard a bird chirping and thought about Clever and Ernie. The memory made her smile. The girls arrived at school and went straight to the auditorium to see the posted list. There was already a crowd gathered. Summer waited excitedly to see the list. At the top of the list was written, Prima Ballerina, Summer C. Summer felt an overwhelming sense of excitement come over her. She did it! She not only made it into the recital, she was the Prima Ballerina! Summer learned that anything is possible when you believe in yourself. The end. Summer did it! Anything is possible when you believe in yourself. Did you enjoy this book? To support the author and get this book in your home to have for your own, you can find the link below. We enjoyed hanging out with you today. If you enjoyed our time together, subscribe to Kiddos Crossing so you can enjoy more of Rajiji Reads. See you later. Come back soon.